welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number 64 or 65, 66 of the Optic Podcast. Uh, We're three away. Three away. What's that mean? From 69. Ah, <laughs> three away from 69. I, I get it now. I was like doing the math. I was like, what? I, I was trying to high five you. How many hours of sleep have you gotten in the last Dude, 24? Dude, it's bad. Yeah. Oh my God, it's bad. And I'm trying to like I, I put on a happy face for yeah. that. I know, I, I know it's bad when your shirt matches your eyes. That's how yeah, I know. Yeah, he's, got, Thanks, he's got the bloodshot. Not only vibe. that, but you have like really blue, luscious, lostful eyes. And anyway. You're not my type. Welcome. Man. Welcome to, uh, to <laughs> another sorry. podcast episode. Uh, no <clears throat> Fortnite. This time around, I don't know. Uh, there's absolutely nothing, not. There's Please. nothing to talk about. I, I will literally <laughs> leave. Yeah, th- no, not not even that. Even if I wanted to, like, there's I, I don't know anything. Season five or whatever. I don't know, but I will talk about something <laughs> that's called Call of Duty Blackout. Has it exceeded your guys' expectations like Ye- it did mine? Yeah, I I don't want to do anything else but play it. The fact that I have a lunch meeting in exactly thirty to forty minutes, well, more like an hour, and I'm not going to be there for the launch of the PC one. Yeah. It's nuts. It's nutty. Um, what about you? How do you feel about it? Uh, one of those crickets landed on my neck just now. Really? Not just now. Uh, as I was walking out. And I was really, really freaked out. We got crickets. Because I thought it was like a... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, what do you think? I, I can't even... I, <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm. There, I was I was playing. Um, it, it was like probably my third game in, and I just started like yelling on stream, <laughs> and and my chat was like, "Well, Hitch is going insane." But I was I was just like, you know, there's so many people out there that were like, "Oh, BR is uh, BR is oversaturated. We should stop making BR." Oh, so B, everyone's making BRs now. And in 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 my opinion, the conversation shouldn't have been, "Oh, everyone's making BRs yet uh, now." It's the fact that. Nobody has made BRs yet. Yeah. Yeah. The only yeah. BRs that have been out besides Fortnite are betas, are betas or they're they're done by you know hardworking but limited. Not, yeah, yeah. Limited, limited resource, resource. Like this studios. Is, the, studios. is this the first AAA like developer? Other than Epic, yeah. Just bam. Other than and, Epic, and yeah. as soon as I and and <laughs> it was weird because like I'm such a COD nerd. I've been a COD nerd for so long. Bigger than me, you think? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably not. No, I collect everything. Yeah. If you guys have any cool Call of Duty collectibles <laughs> that you guys want to sell, holler at me. But regardless, like I, I'm such a COD nerd, and I have been for so long, that I got in the helicopter, mm-hmm. and I took off. And as you took, you take off in the helicopter, and, and just the smoothness of it never dropped below 60 frames per second. Yeah. yeah and then really you smooth. see the vast... The vastness of the map. No rendering. It's already rendered. It's already yeah. rendered. I literally was like, I might cry. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I I can't believe it. I'm getting chills and like, I bro, just... I, did, I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. bumps and it's hot Holy in here. shit, you do. It's hot as I was getting them when you were saying, because I felt the same experience when I hopped in the yeah. helicopter. Yeah. And how good I was at, at, at helicoptering. And, and, and then one time I landed... Uh, uh, so I, I played two games solos and Blake took off of work. And we played Aww. 14 hours. And um, and and so the first game on, I was like, I haven't gone yet. Let's land a States. Ooh. So we landed a States. A raid? Raid. 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 Blake lands top laundry. I land in the Zen. Yeah. And yeah. then we call out three people. I was like, two top, two are top red. One's coming close stairs. And we killed them like it was hard point. Yeah. And then after it was over, I literally put my controller down. And I just was like... I can't believe it. Tell like, me, I can't believe it. Tell me why. Every single time I have played in that map, I'm afraid to fall off the edge. <laughs> yeah, when right? I know that you can. When, whenever you, whenever you mantle and and get out of the map, it it still feels weird. Yeah, you're like, what? Yeah. I, <sighs> and then you just go right over next door to stronghold. To stronghold what about you? Yeah. How, did it exceed your expectations? Very much. Like I don't know why, but I just thought like even like the graphics look better than I thought it might. Because like <laughs> to think about what engine they're doing this on. Like Call of Duty's never done something like this big as, as far as the map goes and as far as the amount of people on the server. So it's just like insane to me that it, it, it doesn't look beautiful. Like, they have it doesn't kill look camps. amazing, but yeah, like they have everything that we 
I guess would have wanted. And it seems like they're listening too. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, look, I, I, it exceeded my expectations as well. I was nervous. I was very, 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 very much nervous Same. about it because I don't know. I just, when you try to do something new, you just don't know if it's going to be a hit or a miss. Now we will give credit to everybody that came before this BR, obviously H1, Daisy, uh, PUBG. PUBG and even Fortnite. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like they, they had a couple of years to like really look at what is happening and to learn from other people's mistakes on what yeah. works, what doesn't. Like, yeah. But <coughs> that doesn't take away from the fact that they have created such a smooth experience and it's just a beta. Which means yeah. that which means that graphically, if that's a word, like not everything is there. That means that there are so many bugs in there because they still after this they have like a month of fine tuning to do. Yeah. And if you can imagine, and I played, I played PC. Uh, I couldn't even play the beta on PlayStation because I got there too late. I played it on on PC, and I told, I, I texted Hutch in the in the Umu chat, and I said, "Yo, I, I'm okay with like switching over to PC. You know, I'm I'm kind of like almost addicted to the FOV being 120, and it seems like you're flying every single time." Mm-hmm. Um, and, and he's like, no, no, we're going to get shit on. We're going to play, you know, GBs on this. But I don't want to play GBs. I don't want to play Call of Duty. Even Heist, it was something like I wanted to, to play and, and really give it a go. But playing BR, I don't know. It's just like it, it's the, the one thing that I just want to do. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, permanent thing. it's just so new. I mean, it feels like really fresh, too. Who have you been playing with? Um, I've been playing, I played a lot of solos like the first couple of days so I could really like get my bearings and then I just play with uh, a lot of like my old homies like Raided and I've been playing like, uh, like with Apostle and stuff. So I've been, I think I like duos the best. Like do you guys like squads, solos or duos the best? Well, uh, I have mixed, when the game drops, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to like uh, quads as much as I like duos or, or, or solos. Yeah. The only reason I don't like quads right now is because of my teammates' footsteps are just as loud as the enemies. Yeah. Um, it's really like overwhelming. Yeah. I, I, and I'm sure there, it's a bug that, the, that Dave Vonderhaar is going to take care of. Uh, but even Dave and the Treyarch team have come back and and sort of opened up lines of communication both on Reddit, on Twitter, and everything else. And it's, un- it's unreal. It right? feels like Black Ops 2. Kind of like when, when you see like Vaughn tweeting out about yeah. a hot fix, you're like, "Holy cow, what year is it?" You yeah, know? yeah. And you could, you can just tell. I mean, this is his. This is his baby. Yeah. Yeah. And God, can't yeah, imagine he, he that. just like, did. It. Yeah, and I have so many, so many, so many, so many questions uh, for him specifically about about this game. Same. Um, I don't know. The, what, what are if you were to iron out like the game and fixed. Right now, fix one thing that needs to be fixed before the hot launch. What is it? One well, thing. They already said that they're gonna do it, but I the the like you should just be able to tap square to pick stuff up, or at the very like least, I guess hold to pick up a gun. But like I shouldn't be like holding to pick up little med kits and yeah. stuff. Like I feel like it's really tedious. And I another console uh, BR H one Z one they have it tapping when you pick up loot too. It's just super fast and fluid. Yeah, I don't mind if I'm on if I'm on PC because you're just it's, it's yeah. an easy yeah, yeah easy. you can do and then you look quickly and yeah and like you don't have to like I don't know you don't have to take your hand or your thumb off like the but, looking but if you're doing it on, on a controller it, it does suck having to go from here to there yeah. and then if somebody's there you gotta go pick up and then center like it, recenter yeah it was and then, so and then annoying that I almost like remapped my scuff to have square where my jump was oh uh, no I I I got a. Um, I got the four paddles, took one off on the on the side, and now I have jump. Yeah, jump. No, yeah, jump. I don't even know which one it is. Not to like promote or whatever, but uh, the new scuffs that are coming out. I'm so putting on the side too. They they have. I mean, obviously it's the same scuff, but then they the, have two the vantage, right? two the vantage, map, yeah. two mappable buttons on the top. So one of them you're just going to be able to do this. It's like yeah. a weird motion. That's crazy. And pick, sh- and pick shit up. So you're literally never going to have to take your thumbs. No, which is good because... That's going to be... Cr- I can't wait to get them. I, yeah. I, I played with it a little bit. I was playing... Uh, you played Fortnite with Fortnite, it. Fortnite, yeah. It, it, it felt good. I, like, uh, I don't see... I don't know. Maybe maybe one of them will get in my way, but at the end of the day, I don't think it will. No, I just want to be able to like... If you're holding it and you're able to push in without losing any fluidity yeah. on your right-hand thumb, which is... What does this? Yeah. yeah, I was. I'm, I'm gonna do do that. How many wins do you have? Solos. Um, Don't lie. I have zero. I have no idea. Um, you, you've win. won. I I've won you one. Won? I've won one solo. Wait, yeah, one solo. 
with a snipe. Iron sight. I saw it. It was good. Iron um, sight snipe? Yeah. Like, picked him out the doorway. There. He was trying to come at me sideways. And then I got, <laughs> I think, like, duos and squads. I think total, I have, like, seven or eight wins total with my friends. So, I have, uh, I, think, I think I have 15 wins. Damn. But I don't know. Um, I, I've been dropping. So, I got this, like, new setup. Uh, just trying it out um, where I, I stream. But I'm also locally recording at 1080, yeah. 60 FPS. Yes, queen. Um, so it's two separate computers. No, he like Same. daisy chained you, like yeah some with the, with the new Elgatos you can like daisy chain two HD 60 S's together. Yeah. yeah, and one of them streams and one of them records. So okay, so I just I literally glorious. just tried this yesterday. Okay, okay, so I went from PS4 to in out to in out to to image. Yeah, is that how you did it? What? What? <laughs> okay, so there's two, right? The, and the we're talking about the HD. We're talking about any capture card in the world. Okay, it has an input where the signal goes in, and then it processes through the capture card, and the computer runs it, and then it the out goes to the image. So while it's in the computer, it records or it it processes it through OBS, and then it sends the signal to the to your monitor, right? Yeah. So instead of going in once out to monitor, it goes in once and then out to another in, which is another Gato, yes. and then out to monitor. Yes. Is that what you did? Yes. I wonder why mine didn't work. Um, Does it have to be two HD60s? Yeah. It ha- well, it has it to be It might have to be the S's. It might ha- it's, it's HD60 S's or the HD60 Pro's, not the regular HD60s. Okay, that's why. Then okay. that's, that's what did it. Because I tried it, and my uh, my brother-in-law who built, who built my computer um, tried to get me to do an NDI, whatever that yeah. is, an NDI sort of streaming PC. I do that too. And, do you? Mm-hmm. I'm about to. I'm about, I'm about to get I just, a second I, PC I, it's, for it's PC It's annoying blackout. to have like all that. I just want it to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always want yeah. to be able to sit down and do it, and he did it, but I still didn't. I, I don't like change, so I, I kept it as is. Anyway, so you were saying. Um, so, so yeah, I'm trying this new thing where, because uh, I kind of want to bring back like real montages because like the only movie. the only people that do montages anymore are like the snipers, but they're also starting to realize that like wow we should probably be doing daily content too so then now they're they don't know because like obviously sprat and pomage like everybody wants to see their raw footage yeah no face cam you know like none of that yeah um so i kind of wanted to bring that back especially with blake and george going into uh um black ops 4 Mm -hmm. so i just kind of like figured it all out um played played around with it um on the battlefield beta and then when this came out i was like i kind of do want to make like a like a beta montage so you should. so i've just been um i've just been dropping clip hunting yeah i've just been dropping solo squads and like going for squad wipes like and stuff like that to oh, try to man. get clips you're wild and um i don't have the patience for that yeah it's, it's hard right I, i've yeah, gotten yeah. i've gotten top five. Oh, i have I, so I, many I like top five you, finishes and it's just like heartbreaking so, uh, dude i was i i leave a building and then i see somebody it happened on stream yesterday so i'm glad that it did I start shooting at a guy. I see him. I'm, so he's laying down. Fucking pussy. So I look at him and I start banging him <laughs> out. And then some dude's like, looks out the window, sees me right there, and blasts yeah. me. It's Why nice. are you in that corner? Yeah. I think like this kind of the slow. It is a little bit slower, you know, than than other BRs. But I kind of like it because especially like wait you, slower. What do you I mean? feel like it is slower. Like I mean, you still have like the fast like Call of Duty, but I think the pacing of the storm and like a normal like not the yeah. The, colla- the fast collapse like I think the pacing during mid game makes it a little slow like you're kind of just hanging out till the end mm-hmm. and so if they made that a little faster I'd be hyped but I think like the slowness like adds up to like those final moments when you're in the top 10 and you're just like I feel my heart beating in my yeah. ears and I'm like not talking to my chat yeah, like, I think it's oh I, I, there's there are times where I think I said it yesterday I, I had just been like playing and then I was like guys I don't think I've spoken in the last four and a half minutes because yeah. I'm just like, yeah. like just super focused you're zoned it's it's i don't know there's something about brs like like you kind of touched on like everyone's saying oh brs it's it's, mm-hmm. it's washed now it's i don't think it is i think we're just starting to see it kind of well this is the first time like he said this is like the the okay so we have obviously fortnite we're not gonna talk about it and that's good but we have PUBG. like from a military standpoint we don't have that yeah. until right now this is the first time yeah mm-hmm. okay now i i said it where, where when did i say this oh i said it in my in, in, yeah so i said that I don't hate on on PUBG, and I certainly don't hate on H one Z one. I want all those esports to to succeed because I want the players who are making a living off of something that they love to make a living off of something that they love. Yeah. Uh, um, 
just because I don't like it or I don't play it doesn't mean that I dislike it. Oh, Same sure. way that you know I don't I don't people say I don't support the Dota team because I don't go, but that's not you know I, I do support them just differently. And you know Call of Duty is what changed my life for the better. It's the game that I love and I play. So I'm gonna definitely. It's where my biggest audience is. I'm gonna yeah. go there more than I do anything right. else. It makes sense. Um, and and for me the. The, the the struggle is always going to be the comparison between that and the other, and it happens now, right? It happens with optic. Like when somebody's doing something better, they compare you to that. When you and you can't help but to like put a little bit of pressure on me, because you can imagine what the PUBG development team with the limited resources that they have. You can yeah. imagine what yeah. what H one with the super limited resources that they have, with the, yeah. with the with the struggle that they're going with with the league right now. That the league isn't gonna, even going to be able to pay the organizations to to do that. That's um, wild. It, so yeah. and, and and H one just went like Daybreak just went through a huge like uh, buyout as well. So like they have, so like they they were like already like this was I think this was their biggest game. Yeah, or only game maybe I don't know. I think they did other stuff, but I think H one was like yeah the big one. I think went, I think is Just Survive still around? What is that? Just Survive like was the original the H one Z one game. Oh yeah. And then the BR yeah. was like, hey, let me do like a cool side thing. Yeah, yeah. That's I like. Look, I, I like. I like it. I, I think it's a. It, it has its place, obviously. Yeah, I like H one Z one. But going back to Call of Duty, this is the first time that we've had a that sort of developer yeah, like with all and with, with the, all the all the resources in the world <laughs> with one of the most creative developers masterminds that is David Von Hart behind it. Dude, the fact that you can just like drop firing range like and I don't yeah. know, just drop into the familiar places. But the what I thought like when I envisioned it, like I thought that it would just kind of be like map sprinkled and then terrain. But they have actually built like a lot of other points of interest around the main maps, which I was like, this feels like really like, good. I, I was li- oh man. It's just it's, I, it's unbelievable. Like as as and I try to explain this in like one of my videos, I was like like as a cod nerd like please allow me to be happy like yeah. allow me to just freak out for a yeah. f- cuz it's going to be like a week or two of me like holy sh- like i was literally in a, on a ray uh the uh like a day or or, or like whatever i was just on a ray cuz i i haven't been there that often and i was looting up and then i just stopped and i was like this is a black ops 1 map yeah and yeah. i didn't play black ops 1 that that yeah. much but i just noticed it and i was like whole like and it's just that feeling it all like over clicked, it. Like familiarity. You're yeah. like, oh, I know where to get in because I know where the door is. Yeah, exactly. Like dropping. I I know firing range. This the the um, br version of firing range. I know it like the back of my hand. Like I know what I can climb on. I know what I can get. I around. saw you climb something that I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah you can climb like mad high. Yeah, like, you can climb like walls. And it's weird because I was on um I was on raid, and uh, you know. The, the pool and then the top hotel right there yeah. overlooks the pool. Yeah. I was getting shot at and I was looking around and he was on top of the hotel. No way. Yeah. I don't know. You and he there. was shooting me down and I was like, I would have never yeah. thought to look there just because yeah. muscle memory and. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah it's, what's your guys' like favorite landing spot? I have two. So what's your guys' like. Riverton. Yeah. Rivertown. Rivertown. <laughs> really? I don't think I've ever I'm landed Lord there. Riverton. <laughs> yes, I land. Um. I like firing range is my favorite right now. Firing range. You? Raid and then like my, my side my Raid. side chick okay. landing spot is the lighthouse. Oh, really? I've never been to the lighthouse. What? It's really nice. It's so <laughs> sick. It's, it's so nice in there. Yeah, it's so sick. It's crazy when the when the zombies get a a lighthouse spawn because yeah. while you're flying in, it's like the lighthouse and then a beam of light through the lighthouse. It looks yeah. sick. Yeah. So, I've landed I'm not blaming it on. I'm not blaming my, my losses on this, but <laughs> I've landed several times where I found nothing. Same. Like, and I've, I've gone to different houses, and I have stock, and I have uh, scopes, I have loot, I have perks. Same. No gun. I feel like it's like almost too balanced. Like instead of maybe putting like a, you know how like like Tilted Towers in mm-hmm. Fortnite, it has like mad loot. That's one of the like you know things that people go for. But I've landed raid like in solos, and there's like four or five other people there with me and I went in like three had there was two guns on the map yeah with that many people so I wonder like why they don't kind of put more loot in the like actual maps or maybe they just want it all spread out I don't know I don't I I don't know but I do know that when I land more often than none I'm like panicking because I don't have anything and I hear footsteps and I'm just like uh, it doesn't matter I could be scumpy right now 
against a Hector. And if a Hector has <laughs> the shittiest shotgun in the world, yeah. I'm going to fucking die. Yeah. Um, it's the way BRs are, though. It's that scramble at the beginning, the slow mid game, yeah. and then the heartbeat over at the, the end. Over the past five years, I've, I've kind of made like an active, and I, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself of how far I've come, but I just don't rage anymore. And I used to be a, I've gotten better. I used to be a rager, like a <laughs> like a nade shot? Rager. Did yeah. no. you see him throw his headset yeah. and put it oh, back yeah. on and it's just hanging? <laughs> yeah. And and I've been there. I've been there, but I've been there with, with uh while playing Call of Duty four and Jude would come upstairs in in, in our first townhouse when I first you know when we first started yeah. doing videos and shit. Yeah. And I'd be like can I help you, Judith? <laughs> and can I'd I be like, you, like, Jesus, I don't. Do you want something to eat? I'm like, oh, baby, oh, fuck it. I'm, 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 he has I'm, jungle. I'm twenty. I'm twenty six years old. Okay, if I want some food, I can. I, I can get up and do it. If I need to shower, I will. You <laughs> probably hadn't showered in three days. No, no, that's you hadn't what, eaten. She was there's like, never been a single day in my life where I have. Wait, maybe when I was camping. And that's only it. Yeah. But where you I, haven't showered? Yeah. Uh, there's never been a single day where I don't shower. Ask Judith. So, as I shower twice a twice a day on on, on hot summer days. Yeah. Once in the morning, I cannot leave the house. I feel like, you know how when you go outside, Claiming. and a lot of people will. When you go outside and then you come inside and then you sit on the couch mm -hmm. and you feel like I should gross. Be. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> that's, musty. That's like, how I feel oh. if I leave the house without showering. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So it messes with your vibe. It does, man. It does. Anyway. So from a raging standpoint, what I've done now is that instead of raging, I I, I literally put down the, the my controller and I do this. I do this. Namaste. <laughs> I do this and I'm like, this is what I'm doing now. But when it pisses, I, I slam. I like yeah. yesterday I slammed my microphone and I'm like, I'm like, I gotta hear it to see if it's louder. It wasn't that loud, so it was good. But man, I I once bit my microphone. And it, hurt, <laughs> it hurt my teeth. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, and I'm like, bah. you went full <clears> T-Rex. You were like. So there are like two situations of why I, I stopped and it just kind of like put my mindset in a different, like it just altered it. Yeah. Uh, one was, uh, I, I think I, I was watching somebody and a dude kept raging every time he died. It's annoying. And it's to annoying watch. to watch. And I just started thinking, wow, I rage worse than this guy. I'm probably annoying as hell to watch. Like anyone that complains, especially like Twitch chat will humble you real quick. If really you complain quick. after you die. So it's like you have to stop yeah. doing that. And then the second thing is, is I was watching, I, I was in, I was in Ian's room and I was uh, filming for vision and I was watching him scrim on, um, black, uh, was either, was either black ops three or I dub. No, it was black ops three for sure. Cause I had just joined optic and, um, he, he turned and he put three bursts into, into a guy and then got melted mm -hmm. and, and I, I was looking at it like, holy hell. And he went one top red, one top red. And that was it. No, yeah. Didn't rage. Didn't nothing at all. And I remember thinking that's what separates the two, like a, a pro player from yeah. like an amateur player, like an mortals, like an actual amateur player would have like every once in a while you'll see a pro a pro player like freak yeah, like out rage. like if it's really bad. Yeah. But for the most part, like those guys when they scrim online, they deal with shit like that every time, and they just kind of have to like. Throw it in the back of their head. They I think rage. that I, look, I'm not saying it is or isn't. I'm not giving credit where, it's, where it shouldn't be. But I think that was a patty aches like thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I never heard somebody like tell somebody's like, "Don't rage." It, you know, call out as you as you're being killed and call out afterwards. Yeah. I, I don't. Nobody wants to hear you fucking complain or bitch or. or it's do such a waste of yeah of like, breath. Yeah. And yeah. It, it does nothing positive. Yeah. Like, and I remember thinking that I was like, like comparing. I'd, I'd watch Ian and Seth play, and then I'd be like, over here with Blake and George, like, yo, we uh, we can't rage as much anymore, guys, because this is what separates the two. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, you nerd, like, yeah, right. raging at you. <laughs> I think I noticed, like, whenever I would, like, watch, because I would, like, play GBs on stream or whatever, and then after, like, something would happen or some round where something went wrong, like, I would almost complain about it or be like, man, I can't believe we didn't do that. And I would be like, like, that doesn't help anybody, and it especially yeah. annoys my stream and my team, so I started to, like kind of lay off and now like there's a couple things that happened in blackout where i got i feel bs or just like it, it was everything i did everything right and still like a guy in a corner like kills me and i don't yeah. even rage i just literally sit there and i just take a deep breath and i leave the game yeah that's all you can do that's Not what me. that that was my original Not me. <laughs> that was my original point is that i i stop anything competitive cod i don't rage anymore i'm good yeah like if i if i choke i laugh it off or like you know like 
if if I get melted, I'm just like woo, like something like that. Yeah. But in BR games, if I land and I run around and somebody's chasing me with a gun and I'm trying to outmaneuver him and look for a gun, I feel like trapped. And when he die, when I die, like eventually, I want to lose my mind yeah. like i want to just throw. i'm getting angry right now yeah <laughs> i want to throw my mic out the window it. yeah the thing is like right now as i'm getting mad i started thinking about the kids they're like dude you're like 40 Why are you getting... <laughs> i'm like i i, I am, what do you mean i'm more competitive now than yeah, i've ever been say, that and i don't think like... and i hope that it never goes away yeah uh it, it, it's it makes me it makes me who i am speaking of crim six <clears throat> and the pro team and godma or karma do you guys think it's bullying when they are on the same team in a in like yeah, in, a, in, a, in an open space? I haven't been able to catch like the streams because I've been yeah, just like yeah. playing a bunch myself. But I see the Twitter clips and I'm like, dude, I would not want to like run into that. They're calling out like we we we, we mere mortals are at a disadvantage when a whole team. At is- least I mean, at least like Seth and Nate and and Ian will have fun with it. And- but like watching Damon and Teep play, you'd think Teep is playing for a million dollars. Yeah, like he is he's calling out in. like locations. He's trying to turn on people. Like opens up the map, zooms into the map, calls, <laughs> yeah, up, he's calls like, out the quadrant, he calls out the coordinates <laughs> and stuff. He's, he's, like, like, he's marking seven seven six quadrant. <laughs> There's two of them. That's One so of them doesn't funny. have shields. Teep is Teep is nuts. They're, they're, I don't know. Maybe. He's got forty five wins. TP. Really? Yeah. TP. Oh, well, more now because this, uh, when I started playing with him last night, I'm slacking. 45. When I got off, I said, I'm like, guys, I'm, let's go raid TP. Okay. Because he's actually good at this. And, you know, I wonder go, how many, I wonder how many kills he has. Yeah. They like, they didn't, were, were they keeping stats the first like day or two? Cause I didn't notice the leader know. or whatever the stats show up till a few days later. I'll tell you what, playing with them yesterday, playing with, uh, with TP, Seth, and, and, and Diesel, I know, I know how karma felt. You know, there was not enough kills to go around. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> and and uh, and I made him pay for it. I made like I made him my fine. If you're not gonna let me kill, I'm gonna make you resuscitate <coughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> resuscitate. <laughs> did you did you see the did you see the yeah, yeah. How do you say it, Joe? Resuscitate. Resuscitate. Resuscitate though. Yeah. It sounds cool. Like, resuscitate. It's the same way. Yeah. It's Can a, you imagine like Hector you, going no, down and being resuscitate like resuscitate me, dog? <laughs> resuscitate. Resuscitate. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what? So I've seen I've seen Karma be a god at it. I've seen every single pro Zuma was like everybody. And, and so Zuma's just, nuts. You know who's nasty, and I and I appreciate this about Jack. We we started playing. It was me, Jack, and Maven, and our footsteps annoyed him, so he left. And then Jack? Oh yeah, god. and then Maven's like, oh, he's probably one of those shitty moods where if he gets tilted, he's just gonna go play by his, by himself so he can get yeah. back into the groove of things for his stream. And I'm like, I'm like man, I appreciate that. Dude. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people will st- like be polite and want to, you know, stay there for, for the people they're playing with. But I'm, I'm, I'm with Jack on this one. Yeah. I you can know? see it. Yeah. Like, like there's been times where I don't really enjoy squads too much on the game. So I like, I was like, oh, I'm just going to like go play duos. Like I need to like do something that I'm kind of better at or that yeah. I'm going to, that's just going to be more entertaining. Yeah. That's one thing. That's one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't, I haven't, um, really collabed yet because I've mostly just been playing whenever like uh, the TST guys were on mm-hmm. and uh, <clears throat> and oh my god like Twitch has been insane like w- Doc streaming it on console, Shroud yeah. streaming it on console and then on top of that you have Seth coming back, Nade coming back, Ian streaming again like everyone's watching those guys so for like our <clears throat> middle tier you know streamers guilty <laughs> So I, I've been looking for, I've been trying to, you know, I can't say it's not on my mind because it definitely is. So I'm trying to fight, obviously trying to figure out a way to like make my stream a little bit more unique. So I found these like goofy ass tournaments that, that people are running. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because I saw you tweet that you're doing tournaments. And I'm like, yeah. is it like in Fortnite where you just try to go in and get as many kills? Or? Well, they can't do that because in the current build of the game, you can't see how many kills your teammates have. Oh, right. so, they so just lie. Yo, you'd have to go like the 2010 GB proof. Yeah, and then on top of that, like in mid game, you would have no idea how many kills you needed or anything like that. Even yeah. even after you die, you can't tell how many. Like sometimes I'll die yeah. and I'll look up and it's gone, and I'm like, man, I had seven. Right. So how do they run it? So, <laughs> 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 so the uh, which I thought was going to be really like dumb or whatever, but it's survival based. So the last team. If, no. if you're playing a 2v2, you both spawn in on the same team. And then hide. And then whoever is the last alive wins. What? But 
if your entire squad wins, whoever has the most kills between your two squads wins. So I thought it was going to be dumb. But Blake oh. and I, but Blake and I played one, and it, I was like addicted. Like for some reason, like it, it's kind of like a we, like a, a chill environment because you land somewhere super safe, loot up, try to like, and and so you're landing somewhere super safe, so there's not a lot of good loot, so you're just like scrounging for stuff. Yeah. And then you'll see you'll see a team of four, and then you're like, well, we do need a kill, but we can't die, so we like like Blake and I will like. Okay, like three, two, one, and we'll both snipe a guy, and then yeah. we'll run away. Yeah. <laughs> we'll snipe one, down him, I'll end him, and then we dip. <laughs> it's it's like it's pretty fun, like uh, playing like super like strategic, and and then also like in the mid game when it's really boring, we're like laying in bushes. I'm just talking to my chat, like bullshitting with Blake. Like it's it's like a it's like a cool like I guess thing, but That's I I do miss I do miss the uh, the kill races. I think, and and on top of that, what if what if Black Ops Four had or what if Blackout like has the ability to have custom lobbies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it I will. think that yeah, they have to. So it's Treyarch. Yeah. Of course Dude, it will. I'm the, gonna go nuts the, next. The thing here, <laughs> the, okay, so you know, go, let, let's talk a little bit about esports, and then we'll go down the line as to like uh, weapons, uh, pickups, drops, the, the the whole nine. But from an esports standpoint. Obviously, we, we, we know that, you know, the first event for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is going to, the CWO is going to continue on. Mm -hmm. We don't know, and, and, and people co like come to me for this question, and I don't know. I don't know how to answer. Uh, is it 4v4? Yes. Do you know, want to know why it's 4v4? Because they haven't said that it's not 5v5, and we have a tournament in two months. They haven't given organizations the time to, to make the appropriate moves to do that. You know how it knows 5v5, though? Do you know? Because they haven't said it's not 5v5. Everything's staying the same. Yeah. I can fight f both sides of them yeah. because they're doing this thing where, one, they're not confirming whether it is or isn't. So it makes you say, well, they're not confirming. That means it is. Yeah, like but there's you, a lot of do you think they? Do you think they know? <laughs> yeah, of course they know. They've known what the, they they've known everything for. I mean, think years, about it. Right? Yeah, why I mean, you, how long? Why do you feel that they would like switch to 5v5 without testing it and making sure? With, I don't like, know. It, pro I, I I just don't think they're ready for what's about to happen. Uh, if it goes five v five, I don't think they're ready for what's about to happen. Yeah. Because everything is going to get banned. Everything. Like, think about. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. I'm trying to remember all of the specialist abilities and um, specialist equipments for mm -hmm. all of the classes. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. How many of those? Just the not even the abilities. How many of the actual equipment is going to get banned? Like you have the little shock thing that goes around and, and shocks somebody, or you have the, the the barbed wire. Like all of this stuff is either gonna get banned or it's gonna get gentlemen. And and we've seen in the past where they'll say no gentlemen's agreements and then somehow it's like fine. Like no yeah, gentlemen's no gentlemen's yeah. agreements, but just nobody's using the overpowered gun that day, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Nobody wanted to. You know, it's it you can't force no gentlemen's yeah. agreements because well, they all have each other's numbers you know yeah what well, gives me hope is <laughs> the fact that the track has opened up lines of communications they let they let vonderhaar loose the, the one thing i like about vonderhaar is that he doesn't give a fuck who you are does where you're yes. from he's gonna do his game the way he wants yeah. to do his game because he knows better than you yeah. whether he does or doesn't doesn't fucking matter yeah he just fucking knows now that's what i'm saying if 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 i was them and everybody there's a rumor going around that's gonna be five five and you know it isn't you'll be like guys Chill. It's yeah. not. Just just concentrate on your thing. Don't listen to rumors unless it's officially blah 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 blah. Right? But at the same time, and you and, and, and you say, you know what? If it is, why haven't they announced? We have a yeah, tournament that's coming up say. like that. They're not giving time Maybe they to prepare. Well there right. is I I I forgot who I was talking to, but they, they said, you know, there there's two months. Like we're gonna know what is it next week, mm -hmm. September something. Yeah. But and oh, then yeah, the game September comes 19th, out, and then everybody's right? like, everybody's like, well, the game comes out like next month. How do we not know? But then the first tournament after that is not till two months later. So, I think the only issue now that people, I mean, I think people are overdoing like how big of an issue it is. But there, is, but the the only thing that is an actual problem is the, like the contracts and stuff. Yeah, from, for I think players. I think that, and then also like, are I'm they are they buckling down and saying, okay, so next year will be five v five Is it going to be five v five forever, that's, or is it just because Black thing. Ops Four <laughs> is 
seemingly custom made from 5v5. If it goes 5v5, there will never be another world where it goes, it'll be three iterations after. So the next time that, that Treyarch makes another game, it'll go back to 4v4 if it doesn't work. The reason I say that is because if you think about when verticality was introduced through through Advanced Warfare, through Infinity Ward, Infinite was it? Infinite Warfare. Infinity Ward. By Infinity Ward. No, Sledgehammer. Sledge. Sledgehammer. Wait. Yeah, Sledgehammer. Then the subsequent, the no, the, the it's like a cycle, like a three. Yeah, then the, the following two, which was Black Ops Three and then World War Two. War, no, no, Infinite Warfare. Yeah, we. Yeah, they we they came in at, at verticality, which means that the second that the studio and and Von der Hart said it best, he's like, I just make the shoe, I don't design like I just design the shoe and make the shoe. Somebody says make a make a shoe that has wings on it. He's gonna he's gonna make the shoe. Yeah, you know? he's. Uh, so when Activision told Treyarch or told Sledgehammer make verticality, then they said, "All right, cool, we're going, we're going. I guess we're going to go vertical. Cool, boom. Uh, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, go vertical in your in your own way. However, it is. Uh, Black Ops Three ended up being wall runs. The other one ended up being the same wall runs and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah it did. Um, and then they said we're going back to boots on the ground. Sledgehammer's next game happened to be World War Two. Uh, the game that we're about to play is." Um, doesn't have verticality yeah. but now it has blackout which means two things okay that if it goes 5v5 from here on out or for the next two iterations it's gonna be 5v5 no matter what okay because there's no way that they go back on that now there is there is a sort of science behind the success of esports if you look at if you look at counter-strike if you look at league of legends if you look at dota the game that you play in public matches is the same exact thing that you play in competitive matches. So if you're sort of doing the same thing, if you're going down that route to make your game as successful as possible, you look at science and you look at proof, you look at history, and then you make it the same way. So going back to that, that means that there's going to be a BR mode for the next two ones, guaranteed. No, there's nothing going to yeah. stop it. There's no way that the next game doesn't have BR. There's no way that the next game doesn't have BR when BR is going to be as successful as it is. Think about how many times there's been a beta been released on a new game mode and it's been nothing but positives with just a little sprinkle of a, this needs a buff and this sucks. Yeah, and then they instantly communicate too. Yeah. it's it's See, that just, <clears throat> like, I'm super excited for this year and I, I always have been for, for Treyarch years, but I'm, I'm a Modern Warfare kid. Mm -hmm. Always have been. Yeah. Uh, Modern Warfare 4 is rumored to be the next since uh the next cod since you know dude imagine respawn if you came land back high rise in next Wait, modern warfare 2 modern warfare 4 that's the rumor oh modern yeah. warfare 4 is the rumored to be the next cod so yes crash go from but crash the thing is to fucking back a lot like i said so a bunch of people from the original development team of modern warfare and modern warfare 2 came back yeah so that yeah. that's why people are thinking it's modern Warfare 4 yeah but they just announced that like seven months ago yeah yeah and i if if i'm an infinity like all right so vaughn plays all the cods he's he's openly talked about it yeah um but not a lot of other i think sledgehammer may have talked about the other developers because it's, it's like they're under the same family but they all hate each other i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wonder if they do um, they're like, but they're competitive if yeah. i'm if i'm an infinity ward person and i spawn in on blackout i'm, I'm shitting my pants yeah like what how do you top that I mean, obviously you can you can th you can just but you, but at that point you don't want to just re regurgitate all your f your favorite maps on just to a map and then it, like it loses all of its appeal. Like I disagree. Imagine landing high rise or landing high rise the way that you land in in, uh, in construction mm -hmm. and then from high rise like gliding or or going to yeah gliding because you, you, gliding has to stick um, going from there to terminal terminal. To, to to crash and then overgrown. I mean, think about it. I, I, I personally welcome the fact that they, they can bring some old <coughs> maps back into it. Yeah. You know, obviously including them into into the current, you know, sort of uh, yeah. sort of map. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really hope it's Modern Warfare 4. Obviously, Respawn Entertainment. So Infinity, Infinity Ward, Vince Ampella and his team from Infinity Ward went and started his own their own thing called Respawn. They created a game called Titan. Uh, Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2. Mm -hmm. And then just recently it got announced that they moved back to Infinity Ward. Yeah. So I'm with well, not, you. Not I'm all with of you them, that. just some of them. Like I, just I think the good they're ones, still, the best ones. I think they're still no doing like Titanfall stuff, or I'm not sure. I, I just, actually don't. I just got a mental flashback of Fuiz's wedding, and I talked to Vince Sampella <coughs> on FaceTime. What? I just remember that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I met him one time, and I stand. And I don't stand very often, but I was like I don't know if I ever stand. What stand? Like, 
the Eminem song. Yeah, yeah no, I know. Super but fan. We'll, we'll it just means, yeah, you just like, are fr- you're having a little fangirl or fanboy moment. <sighs> Who would have, Michael Jordan, Brad Pitt, Guy Ritchie, RZA, the RZA for sure, Aesop Rock. Uh, yeah, mine would probably be, it'd probably be like battle rappers. It'd probably be like people that I actually have more followers than on Twitter. Yeah. But yeah. like, <laughs> I but grew up know. watching them, yeah. you know? Like if you like met who? them, you'd be like, it's surreal. Um, well, like, uh, I watched Iron Solomon for a long time, like uh, probably like three years. Uh, just watched all of his battles and listened to his music and everything. For some reason, I just like latched on to that. Um, and then like uh, Hollow, Hollow Don, but he actually follows and texts Nick sometimes. So that's kind of crazy. I don't know. It's just... And I, meters, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, <laughs> actually uh, tweeted at, at uh, Iron Solomon. I was like, hey, you want to come on the Flycast? And then people were tweeting back, and he was like, "Oh, this is a huge moment for battle rap." And I, was I was like, like "What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What? I'm just looking out for something that I'm passionate about." I was about. like, "My co-host is still in bed, man. I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, hit, uh, Nick is in London coaching a team. Yeah, coaching Ace's team. Ace's team. Him and Ace have been painting the town red yeah. in London. Yeah, I thank see God, that, like, man. I, I, stories or whatever. Like just just seeing his stories, seeing how he is, like, uh, and then also like having conversations with Nick. Like I, I knew something was up, but uh, you know, it, it's it's some it's just how Nick is. He you can't if if you like openly try to be like, hey man, like let me help. Then he's just it's just gonna push him away. It goes the more. opposite way. Yeah, yeah. So I feel that. Uh, you know, just you gotta let him rock. Yeah. When, when he texted that, I, I DM'd him. And I'm like, hey man, you know, I know, I know, I am super, super tough on you, and I just want you to know that I, you know, that you're my boy and shit. And yeah. I, and I, but I made sure that I he that he understood that the reason that I talk as much shit behind closed doors to him, not not don't talk shit to him, but uh, that I'm like tough on him is because I know he, like he's talented as fuck. Yeah. And yeah. It annoys me <clears throat> when talented people don't do like their best. Yeah. But you just never fucking know. And we're not saying that he's that he's going through shit. He just has anxiety, and yeah, a yeah. lot of he people do. Nate has anxiety. It. Do you have anxiety ever? I do. Do you really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't think. Re- I, I wouldn't say I do, but I have had moments, I guess. Uh, I wonder if it's a generational thing. That's what I was wondering, too, because it's like yeah. I never heard about this growing up. And it didn't really start affecting me until I was like in my But 20s. social media wasn't a thing when you yeah. were growing up either. Yeah. So I don't know if people were going through. I don't know if what, like, I just, you just never fucking know. Yeah. Which is the, the wildest shit. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> but just seeing seeing him and uh like Ace is his boy like yeah, for yeah. the longest time and just seeing seeing him like hang out with like just it, it just seems like Scuff House Nick is back and yeah. it's just it's it's great to see. Like and he's he's over there hanging that. out with, with all his Halo guys. And the happiest I've ever seen Nick in my entire life was he was intoxicated <laughs> in a PAX hotel room. Um, after he had retired, I went there to shoot the, uh, the optic guys and Nick just like came and, and we, uh, we, he, he like threw this party in our room and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but the party in our room was, uh, 13 males in our hotel room, all drunk talking about Halo. <laughs> and he was like, dude, I'm oddball like ninja guy and and then and then tj would be like dude i remember watching that and it was just like i was just sitting there like i have no idea what's going on but i remember thinking at the time i was like i have to make this halo documentary because this is the coolest shit yeah. ever yeah. it's just like people like you have wes uh like from when he used to compete yeah. talking shit to to cloud and then you have new like old school people and then you have uh Frosty right there who wasn't even born yet. Yeah. And it's just like <laughs> it's this is crazy. Like there's so much history in that scene and that's the, that's the happiest I've ever seen uh, I've ever seen Nick. So I know that like whenever he goes back and he's just like in in, in his element invested in that element I, I know he's just having a blast. Yeah, no. He I've been following his story and obviously like he's he's laughing his ass off because of the shit that Ace is saying. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, "All right, so he's he's at least having a good time. He texted me that he was going to meet up with somebody or some shit." And I was like, oh, cool, man. Good for you. Fucking have fun. Do your thing. <laughs> Holler back when you get back. <laughs> anyway, uh, so rating uh, beta. We're only rating the beta. To take take uh, all the negatives aside because of, you know, obviously knowing that it's going to get patched, hopefully. Scale 1 to 10. What do you give nine. Blackout? Yeah, I'm a solid 9. nine. Like a hard 9. Same. Did they did It, it yeah. exceeded my expectations by a lot. By I, I thought it would be like a little side thing. Like whatever. I did, too. I did, too. 
And and as soon as I saw Nuketown Island on the map, I was like, that's gonna get four frames a second because yeah. everybody's gonna drop there. Mm -mm. Right. And it and I dropped Nuketown, 60 FPS, gunned a kid, got in a helicopter, and drove around like it was or flew around like it was fucking Grand Theft Auto. And what excites it's me? It's optimized so well. What what excites me? What excites me the most about this is that the 20. 19 season or 20 let's say 20 the 2019 season of call of duty will be 1000 percent the most successful call of duty period we're entering a literal new oh era of call of I'm duty excited. the refreshment that this thing brought to the scene is something that will be talked about like the dark ages like since black ops 2 since yeah. and it's just ins it's insane to me that it's just treyarch just fucking the game up they're yeah. they're the favorite child right now. Yeah, when they weren't when originally. They weren't. Yeah. Remember when and everybody people don't I, know that. I was an Pe IW stand. So was I. So did I. I mean, obviously, I I, like, I didn't like Black Ops One. They fucked with the thing. Fucking yeah. what the what's that guy's name? The community guy. The community guy that I got yeah. into an Robert argument. Robert Bowling. No, Robert no. Bowling was cool. That's four zero two. No, he's cool. No. Uh, so Josh Olin. Josh Olin, yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. I remember that. You yeah. mean like a like a post bin? <laughs> yeah. I was I was sitting. It was a post bin. Or like a like it's like a like a little like before Twit Longer was a thing. Yeah. yeah, you made one of those. Oh, like I, did. I did. I remember sitting. This is fucking crazy. I remember junior year of high school. I was sitting at lunch on my phone. I had just gotten the first my first ever iPhone, and I was reading your thing at Arby's with Blake. And I was like, dude, look, look, Hex is pissed about the sniping. And he was like, no way. <laughs> yeah. How fucking crazy is That's that? Awesome. That's Give me wild. Some. Anyway, so since yeah. then, and remember, remember, uh, I want people to remember this. It, it <clears throat> pros fucking included in this. People hated Vonderhaar until Vonderhaar went away and we got fucking ghosts. What is it? What game came after that? Call came, of Duty Ghosts came after Black Ops 2. Yeah, and then everybody was apologizing yeah. they were only here. mad about the dsr i think no I, no there was, it was, was no it, it was the first time vaughn introduced the pdw i mean it, no no vaughn introduced to competitive call of duty kill streaks kill streaks yeah. and oh, everybody yeah. was like fuck and, that and what people don't remember oh my god the timeline is fucking insane when when the game first came out for the first uh like three weeks everyone thought the competitive scene thought that hardpoint was whack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like right when Every, it came out, they were like, "This won't work." They're like, "There's no way this will work. This will never work." Yeah. And then and then complexity or uh, impact started figuring out how to play. Yeah, like, it's actual tactical. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. There's an anchor, and, and then you you rotate early. You give up. You give up points. Vaughn really did revolutionize competitive yeah. Call of Duty. Holy but the fuck. thing is, and I am honored to say that I was sitting right next to him at the first ever MLG event that he attended to. For real? Yeah, front row. It was Black Ops 1. And I remember, I remember, the, you know how you used to turn and, and spin to diffuse and you wouldn't hear a noise? He mm -hmm. asked me, he's like, why do, why, do they, why do they spin when they do that? I'm like, oh, it's because you, you can't hear the bomb diffusing. He's like, ah. Oh. And I remember, I'm like, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> you know, because I don't want, you know, the pros to get, yeah. to get mad at that. Yeah. And then when everybody would clap like a good play, he'd be like, yeah, look at that animation. <laughs> right? Uh, anyway, go, what were you going to say? Um, what was I going? I don't know. Vondahar we revolutionized competitive yeah. Call yeah. of Duty. Yeah, he did. Um, but but there's also he you can you can just tell he's what they need because he he I think he like I don't know if he like understands a hundred percent what the com competitive community like wants, mm -hmm. but he's willing to drop his ego and help because yeah. in in Black Ops Two, right at the beginning. The the what people thought the the three game types were going to be was uh, search CTF and Dom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh, the Dom spawns like never spawned out. You continuously spawn at your C flag, or or maybe it's vice versa, but basically it didn't work for competitive. And then uh, and then Vaughn was like, I remember he was he, I think it was either Reddit or wherever the hell people used to talk back then. Maybe Twitter, like the man. three oh it was the three sixty icons forums. Oh my god. He was on there. Holy shit! Yeah, because <laughs> I remember Ego freaking out that Vaughn actually made like an account and everything. So he started asking pro players like, "Why aren't people using shock charges? Like, why aren't people like camping or like B dom or whatever?" You know, that came right yeah. into <laughs> your face. Right? Like, I saw the whole thing. Man. I literally just closed my eyes. I'm like, "Please, just leave me alone." And and so that's I, I think that like 
that there needs to be because cod is such a global phenomenon even even to this day it's it's the highest selling you know besides like grand theft auto that year is like the highest selling game every single year yeah so even on the bad years too which is yeah. shocking yeah it, the last four years <laughs> <laughs> record setting i don't know black ops 3 was good in my opinion like yeah black but ops black ops 3 right? was good but, but it wasn't it's black because ops it was two. it was because it was trey art it yeah. was two, well no look at look at two years ago when infinite infinite warfare was out they brought modern warfare remaster it was one of the funnest years i've ever had in call of duty that's true i mean that's true true i don't know i, I don't know it, i i think that we there is that out i don't know if it's out of the box is how we need cod to be but people do need to understand and 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 the crazy thing is is this year it sets it's a whole new extra layer is that there's going to be so many people playing blackout because not only because it's call of duty but because it's that you know maybe top spot for active like like military style yeah uh of br so so many people are going to play it and then you have the same environment the same guns the same uh you know engine in a actual call of duty where people can watch competitive cut yeah. so if you're you know you're you're scrounging the map to try to find a vapor meanwhile over here you have a 4v4 competitive match and where, they ian, the vapor, yeah. where ian is using a vapor and it's just like who knows what that could do for competitive because they're gonna see all right wait why is he using why is he not using stock maybe i'm not gonna pick up stock in in br anymore because he there's, doesn't yeah there's i mean there's there's just it, there's it, just it's just f- a, another layer of familiarity but with the game yeah. that is going to generate interest. Like, wait, what do you mean? I, I I play with the vapor every single day on Blackout, but you see, you're telling me this guy's competing for a million dollars with the same gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, why? Exactly. Yeah. I think, it's, it's I think the crossover be, and cross pollination is going to be good. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, end, I'll we'll end the podcast on this beautiful thought that every single year there is a YouTuber that has been working his ass off for as long as they possibly could, a brand new YouTuber that takes completely off. Yeah. And I know that this year we're going to see the 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 most again the most successful Call of Duty that we've ever had from a viewership standpoint, from a yeah. community standpoint, simply because there are going to be those 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 superstar ninja esque. Yeah athletes or streamers that yeah. rise from from uh from blackout uh so i'm super great and i hope the, i that. hope the pro last thought i hope the pro players understand that yeah because there are so many people optic aside there are so many people in cod that can make it yeah like like really make it okay. attach zuma yeah like there's so like clayster like there's so many people that it's just like i, I just want to like kind of like dm them and just be like are you fucking, fucking stupid like fucking grind yeah. like yeah. Don't like obviously do your competitive shit, but if you were to give one year mm-hmm. to dedicate your everything, yeah, this is the year to do it. This is yeah. the year to do it, one thousand percent. I thought that you were say I thought you were gonna say that. I hope that the pros understand that there are gonna be you know personalities that are. Oh no, no, because they. I'm like they've been trained forever yeah. to understand that the personalities are what grows this fucking space. Oh, oh no, they, fuck. yeah, they get that, but but. They're they're always so good at the game, and only a select amount of people appreciate it because nobody's really watching. Yeah. Yeah. Now everyone's gonna be watching. Oh yeah. Yeah, because like it's so new that the first thing that people want to do with a new game is like learn it, and one of the best ways yeah. to do that is watching somebody that's Watch good. What's the best of it? And yeah. how crazy is it that that uh, that COD the COD community, which is all this half, is super stoked about Blackout because like everything we just talked about, like the maps and everything. Mm-hmm. But then there's the PC BR community that's itching for another game, yeah. for an actual good game. Like, like I'm no gonna offense go home to, and play that right now. Yeah, like no, no offense to all of the other like games, but you can just see the frustrations in non Fortnite BR players. Mm-hmm. Whether it's Shroud, whether it's Doc, whether it's you yeah. know Summit, like they. They can't. They Dude, can't shroud play. and call it. Imagine that. Yeah. Shroud no, and call it's, it's it. going. It it's happening. Probably right as we're talking. Yeah. And I can't. I, like I can't even. And, and so it's that, live. That's why I think. No, it goes live in twenty minutes. No, it's live. It's oh, been it live. Oh, they, they put always. It early. Yeah, they, they always do that. That's anyway, think, I'm gonna let's, yeah. let's 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 go, let's okay? Because I want to go. I want to go play this. We gotta go play. Okay. Blackout. Yeah, go. Sure so enough, I can talk forever. Same. Yeah, I can say especially. Oh, seventy-seven thousand Black Ops Four PC Ninja Shroud as Holy. well. I'm watching this. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Holler back. Peace, Peace. guys. Catch ya. Let's go play. Bye.